This last spring, I saw a supercell that did some absolutely weird things. In April of this year, in Oklahoma, a supercell, well, it kind of did a dance with another supercell and they were just churning out tornadoes. Well, it was pretty wild. We're gonna talk about this whole event, document some of my experiences. We're gonna do all of that right after this. The first big storm day of the season was upon me and I trekked east to Oklahoma for what promised to be a busy day with tornadoes possible. My target on this day was central Oklahoma as I thought the combination of instability and wind shear here were very conducive to big time supercells. Models in the morning were stingy on storm formation, but models also typically, well, they don't handle dry land days that well. While I saw a tornado during the daytime hours in the southeast Oklahoma City metro area, the atmosphere was going to crank into overdrive during the evening. That low level jet increased the shear and instability in the lowest parts of the atmosphere. And well, a supercell and then another one went absolutely nuts just east of Norman. I saw a tornado earlier in the day and I also saw this supercell was dying, but what I did see also was there was a bigger and meaner supercell just to my south. I knew I could get there, and so it was time to give chase. As I approached this supercell from the north, lightning filled the sky. It's been a few years since I chased this area, and <laughs> uh, the trees. My goodness, this is this is rough. I finally get a view of the storm, though, and this structure, it's unbelievable. This is going to be just a re this is a really wild event because there are tornadoes churning out of this supercell in every which way. Like it is really impossible to keep up with what's going on right now, right? So, but let's take a moment. Let's break it down. Let's figure out what's going on. In this clip, we're quite zoomed out away from the storm, but you can still see uh, the edge of the updraft. You can see the updraft right here. Look at all that lightning. Another thing that you can notice really quickly, there's a lot of low level clouds, right? There's a lot of low level clouds working around in this storm. So hey, if you like this channel, if you like learning about weather firsthand stuff, all that, hit that subscribe button. I want you to do it right now. Let's get back to the storm action. If it wasn't already obvious, chasing at night, really difficult. Here's the storm that we were looking at, but this is a little bit more zoomed in. You can see the updraft here, nice bell shape lowering here. You can see the wall cloud here just to the left of that tree in the distance, a bit of a funnel there actually already starting to appear. And you can see those low clouds uh, right here working their way around the storm. And now look at that. Do you see that funnel? We have a full fledged funnel taking shape now underneath the storm. Each one of these shots is a couple of seconds long. So you're talking about 10, 15 second breaks in between seeing this, what's going on underneath this storm. You just saw it again. There's obviously a tornado. Oh, power flash right there, right? There's a lightning strike, clear tornado now ongoing underneath this storm. And you know, we're watching over here to the right. There's another lowering. Uh, taking shape over to the right, a oh, big power flash right there, right? Big power flash, obvious tornado now. But right over here to the right, there's another lowering taking shape. You can kind of see a little bit of a bowl there, like the RFD cut coming through. So this one over here to the right is a separate area of rotation. And soon it's also going to spawn a tornado. This storm was cranking out tornadoes left and right. It was really hard to uh, keep up with this. You can see that funnel's lifting just a little bit. Oh, power flash, power flash. I see it. Yeah, that looks like a funnel. It does. That was a power flash underneath. Oh yeah, tornado, tornado, big power flash again. You can see, ah, right there, big cone tornado. I see it happening right there, straight dead ahead. Wow, big cone. You can see it right back. Big cut. Whoa! Big power flash again. Let me, let me make sure. Dash cams on that. Tornado on the ground. Tornado ongoing. 100% for sure now. Show you uh, this radar image oh, right there from the camera. And uh, looking up at looking at that right now. Uh, it's a storm. It's a tornado. Would be just north of Pink, Oklahoma. Let's go back to the good view now. 
Now, I, I can honestly say that as I watched these supercells do this dance, it was confusing at times because I honestly had no idea what was going. I was trying to keep caught up. It was, it was really difficult to put it mildly, but I can honestly say that this event was very unique. With that said though, we do a lot of education on this channel and I hope you like this video because there's a lot more coming like this. So be sure to subscribe. And hey, remember, even when weather's dangerous, even when it's destructive, it is for everybody because we all experience it equally and we all can learn about it equally. So with that said, remember to subscribe and we will see you next time.